Hi everyone, my name's Aaron, and in this video, this short video, we're gonna show you how you can concatenate and process uh, all of your JavaScript, less CSS, coffee script in your Blockify website uh, to get it ready for production. So if we take a look at the source code quickly, um, we'll see that up here we've got a list of style sheets. By default, Blockify writes these out to the source but they represent all the styles of all the different blocks that you've got in your project. So what we're going to need to do to concatenate these down is we're going to need to install Grunt, uh, the Grunt task runner, and we're going to need to install any of the Blockify dependencies that will allow you to do this. It's a couple of simple commands. You'll need the node package manager, we're just going to run npm install. If you're on Linux, you'll need to do grunt-cli, but I think Windows guys, I think you can just run npm install. So we'll run that, wait for all of that to download. And this is just installing the command line interface for grunt. When that's done, we just need to run Let's just make sure quickly that we're in the right folder. We're in the Blockify installation folder. So that's Blockify slash Blockify in my case. We're going to run npm install. And that's just letting me know that Grunt CLI should be installed globally. I'm going to try running Grunt to see if I may have it already. And I do. Okay, so when you've got it installed correctly, and just going back, when you do npm install grunt-cli, you should really give it the G for um, for global, um, so it's available everywhere within your command line. But when you run it, you'll see that it says a whole bunch of tasks uh, have been completed successfully. Now what that does, if we go back to the source, it minifies everything, concatenates it down, we end up with one nicely uh, minified style sheet. If you've got any JavaScript, any less in there, it'll do exactly the same. Um, it's not a one-way street. If you're debugging something, you can always define Blockify dev as true. And what this will do, if I just save that, is that it will tell Blockify don't worry about the minified uh, versions of the scripts. Um, just print them all out as you would normally. And that is really it. That's how you get your Blockify website ready for production uh, using Grunt and the Grunt Task Runner. Stay tuned for more videos where we'll look a little deeper into how to build your own blocks. Thanks for watching.